Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to overclock your T-Mobile G2. Okay, now before you begin, you must have a temporary rooted G2. Uh, if you haven't rooted it, head over to our How to Root the G2 procedure. Do that. Once you're done, you can come back to this one and continue. Okay, first you got to set up ADB and the drivers. So head to this procedure here to learn how to set up ADB. Um, if you're having issues getting the serial number to show up at the very end, try to download PDANet. You can just Google it. Uh, it's a program to help you tether with your phone. Um, but we're going to use it to install the drivers manually if you're having trouble following the procedure normally. Now once you can see your serial number at the end of that procedure, then you can come back to this one and we can continue. Okay, now you need to download the binary file from this post on XDA, so click on that link. Scroll down, you'll see binary. Click on that to download that and save it to your computer. Okay, once you've downloaded that file, it'll be the vision underscore OC dot KO. We're going to right click it, copy, go to your C drive, then your Android SDK, tools folder, and we're going to right click in here and hit paste. So this will put the file inside the same directory as adb.exe. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to hit menu, settings, applications, development, and make sure that USB debugging is checked on. Okay, you're going to plug the phone in via USB. Okay, next we're going to open a command prompt on the computer. We're going to the start menu, typing in CMD and hitting enter to get a command prompt to pop up. Okay, now in the command prompt, you're going to type what's written there. Okay, when you type that SU, it may pop up on your phone to accept super user permissions. Click allow, then you'll get the little number symbol like I did, and you can continue. Okay, after you've typed that last line, your phone is automatically going to be overclocked to 1 gigahertz. Uh, if you want to change it like a little higher than that or a little lower than that, then we can type something else as well after we type that. Okay, if you're not satisfied with the 1 gigahertz speed, um, you can go higher than that up to 1.42 gigahertz. Anything higher than that kind of crashes the phone. Um, but the way to do that is you'd have to reboot your phone, which will undo the overclocking procedure. Then you need to start back from here again, overclock the G2, do this. And when you come to this line, instead of typing that, type this. Now, this little edit section at the end is going to tell the uh, processor what speed to do. The 74, for example, is going to be the clock speed when you multiply it by 19.2. So 74 times 19.2 will give you 1420.8, which is approximately 1.42 gigahertz. Now, if you type this in, you'll get 1.42 gigahertz. If you type something lower than that, you'll get lower, higher than that, higher. Anything higher than 1.42 gigahertz, though, remember, will probably crash your phone. So if you want to experiment a little bit and try a higher speed, be my guest. And then just remember, if you ever want to undo this, all you got to do is turn off your phone and turn it back on.